because One Trick Pony was a flop, when they asked me to do a concert in Central Park, I thought, well, I just had this big flop. Maybe I should ask Artie to come and sing some songs on this. Central Park, we'll have to do more than 15 minutes. We'll have to do like, you know, maybe half the show. And then I said, well, if we do half the show, that means I'm going to have to open for Simon and Garfunkel. Which, I don't want to do that. So let's just make it all Simon and Garfunkel. I was all over it. Of course, we figured it out three different looks because you're doing close to two hours. So it was afternoon, twilight, and evening. Tonight I'll sing my songs again. I'll play the game and pretend. Mm -hmm. But all my words come back to me. Shades of mediocrity Like emptiness in harmony I need someone to comfort me Home bound I wish I was Home bound Home Where my thoughts are skipping Home Where my music's playing Home Where my love lies waiting silently I don't think we had any idea how many people would show up. New York was dangerous, you know, completely on its ass. And it was sort of a bold thing to do. And it was a very New York City event, because they're both from Queens. Ladies and gentlemen, Simon and Garfunkel. I knew we had something, and that it was a very cool thing to be doing. Well, it's great to do a neighborhood concert. Well, half a million people showed up. I hope I hope that the sound is good. I actually felt nervous. I'm used to going up on stage, but even though we had played arenas, we never played anything that big. The yearning for them together was the biggest thing that either of them had ever done. I am just a poor boy, and my story is seldom told. I've squandered, I've squandered my resistance. For a pocket full of mumbles, such are promises. All lies and jest, still the man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I left my home and my family, I was no more than a boy. Quiet of the railway station, running scared. Laying low, seeking out the poor quarters where the ragged people go, looking for the places only they would know. I'd like to sing a new song. I've recorded this song and I've never performed it before, so this is the first time. Late great Johnny Ace. It's about John Lennon. It's about Kennedy. Kennedy and Johnny Ace. Yeah, all gunshot, all the gun violence. This was pretty soon after Leonard had been shot. I was in the control room. The camera work and all that was great. And then suddenly it happened. When a stranger came up and asked me if I had heard John Lennon had died, I 
And the two of us went to this bar And we stayed to close the plane I saw across 11 or 12 cameras a guy running the stage. I saw him get on the stage, you know, out of the corner of my eye. The thing that's interesting about it is, like, my band, they're ready to jump in at night. Like, Artie is sitting on the air. <laughs> he didn't jump up. He was not he, taking a bullet. No. And every song we played was for the late, great Johnny Ace, yeah, yeah. I asked them both after what they were thinking, and Artie's thought was, oh, I can't believe this guy's ruining Paul's song. And Paul's thought was, I can't believe this guy is ruining my song. Because they performed throughout the 60s, neither thought I'm gonna die. Yes, thank you for the love of our hearts. They made us feel great. After the concert in Central Park with Simon and Garfunkel, it was so big, such a big hit. It then sort of forced us into, or forced me into, uh, putting the group back together again and doing a tour. I'm like a swimmer standing on the edge of the pool who's been looking at the uh, water now for a couple of weeks, dying to get in. I'm very, very excited. I always like singing with Artie. I just can't get along with the guy. Very difficult. You know. We were famously uh, antagonistic. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to put all that aside and just have a good reunited tour with Artie. Here's another new song called Think Too Much. Did Art Garfunkel ever get on your nerves? <laughs> oh, he always gets on my nerves. <laughs> it was I shouldn't say always, but Periodically, we get on each other's nerves. When I say periodically, I mean if we're together, then every day, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they sit at the right side of the work hard all right. We both did it. Maybe I think too much for my own good. Some people say so, other people say no, no. The fact is, you don't think as much as you could. Uh, yeah. I had a childhood that was mercifully brief. I grew up in a state of disbelief. I've known art since I'm 10 years old. So I think we've developed our own style of disagreement. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a very subtle way of, uh, of irritating the other person. Thinking about God, yeah. Because the tour was a hit, we said, well, the record that I was working on, Hearts and Bones, that'll be a Simon and Garfunkel record. 11 years, you were split up, uh, went your separate ways. Was it difficult for you uh, after the split?